Hi guys. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Happy Thanksgiving Eve to you guys. Uh, please say hello when you come on. My name is Tracy. I am a furniture artist. A <laughs> Let me try that again. I'm a furniture artist. My business name is Tracy's Fancy, and you are on the Dixie Bell main page here. Uh, Dixie Bell Paint Company. I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint, and I am going to um, paint live with you guys tonight. I don't know why I'm a little bit tongue tied. Hi, Brittany. I'll feel better once I see you guys start piling on. There you go. Valerie, hi. Hi, Katie. Oh, I'm so glad to see y'all. I wasn't sure how many people we would actually have joined tonight. I'm sure you've heard that from people all day today. Um, I have a load of food to be cooking in there. I have a couple of pies and a couple of dishes and I just got back with my groceries. Nothing like waiting till the last minute um, to get some meals put together. You know what's really distracting is myself over here in the corner. Like I don't know how to get rid of that video. There we go. There we go. I, I did it. So thank you for saying hello. Let me know when you're here. Tell me where you're tuning in from. We've got people coming in from Arkansas and California and Valerie is saying happy Thanksgiving to her American friends. Thank you for that. And hello, Sandra. Um, and hi, you guys. So yay, this is off. This is awesome. This is really awesome. I need like five seconds because I keep, I'm tongue tied. Hold on. I had to center myself. <laughs> Yay, you're last minute too. Hi, Zan. Hello there. So listen, guys, tonight we are starting on my next project here in the shop, and it is this Rococo, be Rococo, 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 Rococo bed. Hi, Emily. Um, yes, happy. Thank you so much, Jeanette. Many blessings to you too. Thank you for tuning in from Illinois and Ohio and Tallahassee. Um, Anyway, this is the next step in my shop in my um, custom order lineup. I know that we started and almost completed a desk last Wednesday night with y'all. I meet here every single Wednesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. on the Dixie Bell page to work with you on whatever I have going on in the shop. Um, sometimes it's a little more complicated, a little more complex. Sometimes it's using a lot of paints at once, like last week, which was so much fun. And I hope that you will give my Tracy's Fancy uh, page, I hope you'll click on my name where it says Tracy's Fancy and follow over to my page after a while and check out a little sneak peek of that desk that we did last week. And um, I also want to tell you that I have my microphone on and last week we had, a thank you, Anne. I love it. I love it. Full reveal tomorrow on my page, so please make sure you're following along. Also, hit that share button in case someone's just sitting around not cooking food for Thanksgiving, and they can hop on and join us here. Uh, Debbie, you know what? It's just the luck of the draw, girlfriend. It is just the luck of the draw. I, I uh, don't shop on Marketplace very often anymore on Facebook, nor do I go to uh, go picking, you know, picking, uh, because most of my orders that I get are custom orders and people actually bring me their furniture or bring me their heirloom furniture and I paint it and then they pick it up for me or I ship it back to them. So sometimes I'll just be like, hmm, wonder what's on Marketplace today and I'll just hit Marketplace and I just get lucky and I got lucky. This lady posted this and I drove over there in like a heartbeat. I did not have a buyer for it, but I couldn't pass it up because I painted this very type of bed right here live with you guys on another Wednesday night um, this past year, within 2020. And uh, y'all went nuts over it. This is my fourth bed of this style to paint in 12 years. My fourth bed that I've had an opportunity to buy it and paint it in 12 years, I've done a solid black one. I did one in a lion head. Seriously, guys, the mom made me turn this into a lion's face. It was the craziest order I've probably ever gotten. So I did it in a lion's face, a black one. I did the one that I did with you guys right here on a Wednesday night. It was just an ivory, like a bone ivory color. And then tonight's is going to go in um, an 1800s farmhouse. And uh, this young girl has like a Cinderella room and she is in Louisiana. Her name is Tansy. I'm super excited to do this for her. And she has had this dream bed photo saved in her phone forever. Hi, Julie. Um, I painted out a photo. This, she's had this photo saved 
in her phone and when she saw me list this for sale as available she jumped on it and so she got it so this is our inspiration photo uh, this is a ro rococo style this one here is a little bit um, a different style but we're gonna do the same basically the same thing to it so let me show you this is this is you see that footboard so we're going with a blue and probably an, an ivory um, she also has a lot of pale yellow in that room um, she has some old old vintage bedding on the bed already this is not her room this is an inspiration room that she had saved in her phone until the time came when she found a bed like this and uh, she was like oh I can't afford it and I was like girl yes you can let, let me work with you here so she has put this bed on layaway and she's been paying on it religiously every single week and I am thrilled to make this happen for her I'm thrilled to bring that photo out of her phone get it in my hands and let's do this bed right here Valerie you're so sweet and I'm super happy to do it I'm so happy to do it so as you know um, if you've painted Rococo 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 however you say it these fancy beds they have a lot of carvings on them and some people shy away from carvings because they feel like they'll be too difficult so the beauty of Dixie Belle paint is a chalk mineral paint and it works really really well with water so if the paint is kind of thick you can thin it down almost to a water consistency to get get it to do what you want it to do or you can even leave the lids off and make it super super thick and do like an antipasto type style of painting where it's like super thick and texture and has depth and you can feel it and uh, so you can do that as well so this is the headboard and this is the footboard the footboards right down here so I've got it um, out flat right now because I wanted to show y'all something um, here we go let's see if I can get this leaned up here all right this is how i had it earlier today and i primed it hold on i got my foot in my bowl all right so i primed this you guys um and it's a lot of work it is a lot of work you have to get in all of these little cracks and crevices let me move my phone down for you so you can see hold on hold on okay hi brenda so you see all the holes that's a lot of holes it's a lot on both sides you see that so uh, i've got it primed and we're going to paint this together um, and i'm going to show you a little trick to getting it in all of the cracks and crevices there um, a lot of people will spray these beds and that's great you can spray like your base coat on you can spray your primer on you can spray your base coat on dixie bell paint does spray you do need to water it down to run it through a sprayer um, but a lot of people don't have a sprayer. I mean, it's not practical to tell people you can spray this style bed when people don't have sprayers. Maybe it's not in your budget to get a sprayer. Maybe you're scared of sprayers. Maybe you're not interested in sprayers. I personally have two. I never use them. I don't like them. I, I get it. I get that. I get that it's easier, but I don't like the setting up. I don't like the cleanup. I just don't. I don't. It doesn't make me happy to do it so I don't do it so I feel like I'm a really good person to show you how to do this without having a sprayer and not get Melissa Melissa saying pounce it baby pounce it and we are gonna do some pouncing and you know I did a lot of pouncing getting this uh, primer on here however uh, I do want to tell you if you're gonna pounce these beds you do tear your brushes up uh, Dixie Bell brushes hold up really well um, but I do use their cream cream what is up with my brain do I need a cup of coffee? I think I do. Uh, thank you. I know I love it. Oh, is this Malia? Malia, are you on here? Um, oh, Dixie Bell's on. Hi, hun. Um, okay, so this is their premium chip brush. All right, so this one was uh, this one had been used maybe twice. So I did it. You can see how it's splayed out. Is that the right word? Splayed. It has splayed out. It's bursting um, and it's because I was doing a lot of digging I was pouncing and pouncing and getting all up in those holes from all directions up down side to side so I'm going to show you something um, that will make that a little bit easier when you're doing the paint okay um, so let's look at this bed this bed has like I said um, a little bit of blue and a little bit of ivory and then a lot of gold so you know that I'm going to be using the new gemstone most <laughs> I can't. I cannot, y'all. <sighs> uh, Brody, hi, 
Hi, sunshine. Brody, did you try did you try to call me, didn't you? Y'all, that's my son. He's in Japan. Thank you, Brody, for your service. We miss you terribly. This is our first holiday without him ever. Um, and we miss you and the whole family. And I think you tried to maybe FaceTime, but I was typing in my description for this live. I'm so sorry, I couldn't answer you. Um, so we'll talk, we'll talk soon, okay? I need to talk to Colby. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna be using the Gemstone Moose, but this blue right here, Dixie Belle does not have like a true baby blue, like just straight up little boy baby blue. They don't carry that, which is crazy because they carry like 20 blues, right? They don't have a straight up baby blue. The closest to baby blue that they have is this one right here. I'm sure it looks white in the in the light, but it is called Haint Blue. Let me show it. Let me show it to you by white. See if you can see a difference. See the difference? This is this is Boss White. This is Haint Blue. There's a moose in the hoose. Get him out. Get him out. Uh, so I'll be using Haint Blue. But still not quite blue enough. So I am gonna be adding a little bit of Dixie Belle's Dusty Blue. With this, this is still, this is too, too blue, too, too blue. This is not blue enough. So I'll be using Haint Blue and I'll be adding a little bit, bit of Dixie Belle Blue, but I'm probably not gonna do it in a bowl. I'm probably just gonna do it on the bed. Uh, yes, I do love Haint Blue. I really, really do love it, but it's just not, not quite blue enough, you see? Okay, so I actually brought fluff over here, but I think I'm gonna go grab me some drop cloth. So let me do that and I will be right back and I'm gonna lay this thing back up on its back and we will get busy laying down some paint, all right? Um, <gasps> you're painting your first piece this weekend. Who said that? Who said that? Oh, I missed it. I missed who said that. Oh wait, there it is. Lisa, are you serious? As much as I've seen you on here, you are just painting your first piece. Well, good for you, girl. I am so happy. Say rubber baby buggy bumpers. 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 That's pretty good. Is that gonna fix my speech thing I have going on tonight? Okay, let me go get drop cloth. I'll be right back. Not a drop cloth. I have a drop cloth. I'm gonna go get the paint called drop cloth. So hold on just a moment. Oh, the Pulaski beds. Yay. I love his furniture. I have painted so much. Please, please, please go on uh, over to Tracy's Fancy. Oh, I don't know if it'll be on my albums yet. I don't know if it's been added, but I have a huge bedroom set of his that I've painted. Oh, I love that furniture. I am so excited for you. Dixie Bell Blue. Oh, did I say Dixie Bell Blue? Sorry, it's Dusty Blue. Thank you for the correction, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for the correction. This is Dusty Blue. Dusty blue and haint blue. I'm gonna use mostly haint blue with a touch of uh, dusty blue on my brush. Thank you, Evelyn. And uh, we're just gonna get us a nice little natural mix. Let me go grab some drop cloth and we'll get busy. All right, I've got cloth, which is just the color of a drop cloth. It's like the exact color of a drop cloth. In fact, I'm looking at it on top of my drop cloth and it's the same exact color. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my back to you guys. I am gonna pick this bed up and lay it flat on its back. I've got it on a couple of giant latex paint cans. Um, I could have put it up on sawhorses, but this just made it easier. I'm used to sitting on the floor anyway. It's not super, super stable there, but it's stable enough. And I'm gonna work right here and let you guys watch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my chip brush. I have my Dixie Belle oval brushes and round brushes that I like a lot. This is the oval small. This works really well too when you're working with a lot of these carvings, it gets down in there. Um, but I'm gonna start out with my chip brush. I am also gonna use a lot of water. So I'm gonna use my mister, which I'm not sure my mister is gonna deliver enough water for me because our misters are made to give a very fine, even mist. I'm going for more of a shower, like a shower. So I'm gonna use my, uh, just a straight up spray bottle, okay? So 
What have I done so far? I have primed this bed embossed white. As you can see from this wood right here, this is a full out bleeder. There is no way I would ever paint this in any color without primer unless I was painting it in Midnight Sky or Caviar or Amethyst or Aubergine or uh, maybe peacock maybe maybe you know some of the collard greens like super dark 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 coffee bean those would be fine but any light color on here hi nina hey there hun yeah you guys y'all all give nina a hand nina is the owner of the marie antoinette piece that just shipped out day before yesterday was it day before yesterday yay marie antoinette left the building i could not be happier and i could not be happier that nina is about to get one two three four four pieces of furniture and a piece of canvas art super happy so y'all celebrate with nina because she has waited a long time for that to be delivered okay so i've got my paint I'm not doing this with a sprayer uh, it took me today, guys, to do Boss White. I did one coat of Boss White on here um, with my chip brush, and I timed myself. I wasn't in a hurry. I turned on some good music. I turned on 1980s, the best of the 80s on YouTube, and had it blasting out here on the stereo. And I was singing a lot of Cyndi Lauper. And uh, took me about 45 minutes to prime this. That's how long it takes. And, y'all, I'm fast. I am a, like, rapid, fast painter. So yeah, about 45 minutes uh, trying to get up in all those little holes. So let me aim this down a little bit here. Nina's happy too. Can you imagine? She's waited so long. No, I will not. Nope, I did not scuff it. It looks really shiny in the because my, my ring lights are shining on it. Who asked that? I don't know who asked that. Uh, oh yeah, that's the song I was singing. That is the song I was singing. Um, that's the last one I was singing. What else was there? Oh, Queen. A lot of Queen. Um, there was some Prince. <laughs> trying to think what else was on. It was, it was really good. Uh, it was good. It felt good. It livened me up. Got me super excited. But yeah, about 45 minutes to get in all of the holes with my boss. So one coat of boss. Oh, scuffing. So it's it looks shiny because the lights are shining on it, but it's really not that shiny. And it's already got quite a bit of grip, uh, tooth to it already. Um, I really am. I would not have primed it if it weren't for bleed through. Otherwise, I would have. It's got enough tooth on it that I did. I wouldn't have needed. A primer for adhesion I wouldn't have needed an adhesive an adhesion primer I only needed a blocking primer 80s is the best music and when you need to pick me up yes it's the best playlist to put on okay so here we go I'm gonna get started so I could take my drop cloth and pour it into a bowl if I let's just do that because that's just gonna make it easier I'm just gonna put some drop cloth here in a bowl and then I'm just gonna open I'm gonna open my water and I'm just gonna pour it in I'm just going to pour this in, pour some water on. I don't care how thin it is. I don't care if it's way too thin. I don't care. I just want to make sure that it's going to seriously run away from me, that the paint is going to just run right through. I'm, I'm totally good with that because why do we want to spend all the time, you know, pouncing around all those edges? We don't. I want it to be runny. I want it to just fall through those holes. That's the trick, okay? That's the trick. So you see this? I mean, it's like water. See that? I mean, it's got some thickness to it, but see? That's what we're gonna do. So we are just gonna start putting it really, really thick right here. I'm not on any of the uh, top surfaces. I'm just sopping it on. I wanna, it's like, I'm doing like, syrup on your pancakes i'm doing like gravy on your biscuits butter on your toast i want a lot of it now normally i would be kind of up on my knees like this let me raise the camera up just a smidge hold on oh my gosh you guys y'all are so sweet okay i can already see that it's covering the thing about this um this style bed uh you have to check all of these carvings from every angle so this will keep you, this will save your wrist. If you've got bad wrists, if you've got bad thumbs, um, if you've got arthritis and you don't want to sit down and jam out to the 80s music, but you want to get this done fast and you don't have a sprayer, just wet it. And if that's not enough for you, just take your spray bottle 
and just spray a lot of it. Just get it, get it running down into all those sides. Yeah, it's a, gonna be a super thin coat, but at least you've covered all of those inside areas. And then you can go back and paint just the face, just the face of it. Now I do have a drop cloth here underneath me. There is also, this style bed has this weird backboard behind it that the, that the uh, bed actually attaches itself to. So I'm dripping right onto that, but that's okay because that needs to be painted too. And it's kind of hard to get to. Um, so I'm totally okay with it. All right, so we're already in there. We're covered. Like that is so fast. I should have done my primer like that, but I don't really want to use my boss and water it down. So I'm good with that. And that used quite a bit. So there's some more here. I'm just letting it run down there. See if I did it on the side, you can just see, see how runny that is? It's just running right down the side. I mean, that's, I'm just showing you that so that you see an example of what's happening um, in, inside those holes, okay? So here's some more here. I mean, it's messy, but how fun is that? It's fun to me. And that's it. So I'm gonna do, let's just do half. Let's just do half of it. So I might as well just finish this, give it a good wash. Another thing about these beds, when they are, uh, have heavily, they're heavily carved like this, you don't have to be worrying about uh, perfect brush strokes, you know? You don't have to worry about, oh, I need all my brush strokes going in the right direction. Are you kidding? The wood is going in a gazillion different directions. Look how fast this is going way faster than the 45 minutes that I took today. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just do this again. I'm gonna pour myself a whole nother bowl. I'm gonna take the lid off my water. I'm gonna pour some more water on here. This is, this is going really well. So let's see. Do I have any questions? Has anyone painted a bed like this before or do you have a bed that you wanna paint like this? I know that I've had several people after it's sold uh, write me and say, write to me and say, oh my gosh, I have that bed and I've been dying to know what to do with it. I can't wait to see what you do with it. So I know there's a lot of them out there, but, and I've had, I've seen them to buy, but people ask so much for them. And if I pay that much to just redo it, can you imagine what I'd have to charge someone to, to do the work, to make it, you know, to paint it? So I have to kind of wait around until, uh, the right price comes along. Not only to wait till the bed comes along, but I have to wait until the right price comes along. All right, so my point today is just to get this covered all the way in a nice solid coat of drop cloth. It's almost as if we're, are y'all seeing me over here? Almost as if we're spraying it, but we're not. We're just giving it a shower in super, super watered down paint. And that is what is so beautiful about Dixie Bell paint, because you can do this. You can add water to it, and you're not gonna you're not going to uh, affect the efficacy. <laughs> you're not gonna cause any problems with adhesion. Um, it's just your base coat. Nice, thin down. I'm gonna stand it up here for you so you can see it. Uh, and we can check all the, y'all see how I'm splattering on my other bed over there? I'm not worried about it. I don't want those splatters over there, but the good thing is, is I've got, you know, a good 24 hours that I could reactivate that paint over there. It'll right, wipe right off. I'll be able to take a baby cloth to it and wipe right off. All right, so there we go. Half this bed is done. I'll be doing the exact same thing to the other side, and then I'll be doing the exact same thing to the top of the headboard. So now I'm gonna stand it up and you can see. There we go. Oh, I didn't get a, I didn't get a rag. Okay. Hi, Sue. Look at that. See that? Look at that water down coverage. Amazing, right? Isn't that amazing? See how fast I did that, babe? I just watered it down and gave it a, I gave it a paint, yeah, I gave it a paint shower. Just gave it a paint shower. So now, now I've got it stood back up. I'm gonna let it run down, do its thing. All I wanna do is kinda go in and, baby, I call it babysitting my paint. I'm gonna go in and kinda babysit it 
and look for any drips. See if there's any drips anywhere. See if there's anything that I missed, any dark spots that I can see. Mostly just watch for drips. You don't, you don't want paint to dry with drips on it. So, uh, but this is thin enough that it should just drip right off. There's nothing, nothing thick here. So that's that. So let's put a little bit of blue on here while you guys are on here with me. Let's do it, even with this uh, wet paint. Let's see what happens. Now, this, this back part that I'm talking to you guys about, it's back here. It's this whole back part. Um, I'm gonna, while this paint's wet, I'm gonna kind of rub this out with my brush. While I've got some back there. Sorry, I know this is a weird angle for y'all, but I'm just, I wanna make the best use I can while this paint is back here because usually I'm reaching back here with a paintbrush trying to paint it. There's a lot of good paint in the back. Yeah, and I got that covered really well. All right, so now when you see through those holes on that side, it looks dark in the picture, but it's actually, uh, it's drop cloth color back there versus on this side when you look through, it's the dark wood, okay? Now this may be too, this may be too wet. This may be too wet to do some blue. Let's talk about style. Let's do that. Let's talk about how, where we should add what. Let's look at our, let's look at our little inspiration bed here. First of all, while I'm looking at the camera now, does anyone have any questions about what I just did? Do you have a piece that you're working on now that you wanna know? anything about. I'm, I'd be happy to answer any questions for anyone right now. Um, Nina, Yvonne, if you want to sell the footboard, let me know. <gasps> what do y'all have? What are you selling? This is so cool. I want to know. I want to know. Oh, Nina, does someone have the footboard to the bed that you bought? Are you kidding me? Not surely not what y'all are talking about. Hi, Dixie Bell. Do you know why I don't see my comments on Tracy's lives? What? Are you serious? Who is this? Ellie? Ellie, I see you, honey. So you can't see your own comments while I'm live here? So you're commenting, but you can't see them. So Ellie, uh, sorry guys, I had to put my phone on do not disturb. So Ellie, at least you know that I see your comments. Hmm. Um, can you add, oh, oh, oh. Hi, Lucy. Okay, what is Deb saying? Can you add legs to it to make it stand higher? You could just use it as a headboard maybe for a child. Uh, are you talking about this bed? Um, this, that's the headboard up there, and then this is the footboard. The headboard's tall. The headboard's tall. And then this right here is the footboard that goes with that headboard. We're just working on the footboard right now. Unless y'all are talking about something else. Oh, Nina said no. Only question if, is if you can spoon. Oh, Brittany. Yes, we can spoon. Absolutely. Oh, Yvonne's saying scroll up. Shoot, I can't scroll up far enough. I'm sure it's like way up there. Tracy. Tracy from Spain, who spells her name like, the, like a cool Tracy. <laughs> Morella, we're still here. Um, okay, so Brittany has a question about spoons. Do y'all mind if I grab the spoons real quick? Do y'all mind? If we do that before we go it's 7 30 I hope this was helpful to y'all um, what else can I tell you real quick before I grab the spoons um, I want you to have a happy Thanksgiving um, if you have any questions at all just put a comment here you can message me over um, on my page as well um, Dixie Bell has got brand ambassadors and content creators here live all the time um, so there's always something to learn there's always someone here to answer questions for you um, you can find a local retailer on DixieBellPaint.com. Um, I put a link there that will take you to DixieBellPaint.com and you can look for your local retailer there. You can also shop for your paint products right there. That's my affiliate link. So I'll get a little kickback from that as a, as a thank you. I appreciate it if, you, um, if I've inspired you in any way to step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Um, Brittany, let me grab spoons and I will be right back.
Okay, this is what we do on my Friday morning live sometimes. Um, are there outlets for Dixie Bell in Canada? Yes, there are, you are. They do have retailers in Canada, as a matter of fact. So go to DixieBellPaint.com and, um, and find a local retailer and you'll enter your post postal code there and the nearest retailer will come up, will come up for you right there. Um, hi, love from Holland and can I ask what color? Yes, hi there. Uh, I don't know how to say your name. I don't know how to say your name, but yes, this was drop cloth. Drop cloth. Drop cloth, just like a painter's cloth. That's what I just used. This side over here is just uh, my primer. So this is my white primer, and then it moves over into, see the difference between the white primer? This is boss in white, and it moves over into this lovely vanilla. It's very, very vanilla. Yay, I'm so glad. Okay, so sometimes we spoon. We call it spooning with Tracy. Who wants to spoon with Tracy? Brittany, are you there? Brittany, you had a question, so come on up with your comment. I got challenged to paint red. I used rustic red. I'd love to know how you like to blend reds with other colors. Okay, so let's pull up. I think this, oh, that's honky tonk. Oh, shoot, am I not going to have, oh, no, I got rustic red. Hold on. That's rusty now. Here we go. So if you are not familiar with the reds, you guys, this is Honky Tonk Red. This is Dixie Belle's truest red. This is rustic red, okay? Some people call it like a barn red. So you can see the difference. So rustic red is like Honky Tonk Red gone dark. Honky Tonk Red with a little bit of black in it, um, probably, maybe some coffee bean, I'm not sure, blended, and you end up with this rustic red. So she's wanting to know, what other colors, are you saying, what colors do you blend? Like, are you wanting to actually do paint blending? Or are you wanting to know what colors um, go well with red? I love turquoise colors with red. Not blue, but turquoise colors. So, like, I think these are beautiful. But, of course, I would wax this down. Or even uh, peacock is beautiful. Or... Look at this. This is the Gulf in red. Rustic red blends well with muscadine wine. You want me to pull out the muscadine wine? That is this one, I'm sure. They're very, very similar. So if you're actually wanting to do a paint blend, like where you're blending, um, I would do this and maybe with some coffee bean. Um, that is not coffee bean. That's chocolate. But you could do that, too. You could do this, too. Just any of your thoughts on reds and what to use with them. I love reds and turquoise. That, if you're asking me, this is going to be right here. This is going to be my go-to. I love this. That does not look like Christmas to me. That, oh, sorry, that's Honky Tonk Red. Um, let me get back to my Rustic Red. Rustic Red. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I love turquoises with reds. Think about... Think about like uh, New Mexico or, uh, yeah, think about like Arizona, New Mexico and the, the dirt, you know, think about like the Grand Canyon and you've got the, the dirt and the canyons and then you've got the sky next to it, very natural or like stones, like turquoise, like turquoise earrings. You always see this next to like the red garnets or the blue bonnets and the, the Indian paintbrushes reds that grow together in the fields. You know, that's a very, very, very pretty. This also looks really good with... Um, this is Colonel Mustard. Looks really, really good. This does too. This looks good. Um, let's see. You could also go, you could add this in there if you wanted to. Maybe take the Colonel Mustard out and do these colors. These are very earthy, very earthy and fun colors to me too. Yeah, kind of Southwest. Yeah, which is what I think that the I think that the rustic red lends itself to that anyway. So this makes me think of, you know, I don't know, it just makes me think of the layers of the earth and the sky. And I'm trying to find my coffee bean spoon and I can't I don't know, I can't find it right now. The light always makes it hard to find things. That's collard greens. Collard greens is pretty with the red too. See? You like that? Isn't that pretty? Is that feel? Is that feel too country? Does that feel too country? Rustic red has a. I think, I think coffee bean would be really good. But for some reason, I'm not finding my coffee bean. Gravel road? How about gravel road? Look at that. 
that's pretty. Um, I just really, this was mermaid tail. I just really liked it with the mermaid tail. Uh, where's the golf? No. Well, no, this looks good. I like it with the golf. Look at this. Okay, you ready? I like this. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Turkey feathers? <laughs> Aviance, you like this? I like this. This is really pretty. Okay, so this one right here is terracotta. Terracotta, I do too. Um, terracotta, rustic red, um, collard green, or no, gravel road. Terracotta, rustic red, gravel road, and the gulf. This is terracotta, Carol. Florida orange looks like this. This is Florida orange. Wah! Florida orange. This is terracotta. Super popular right now is that whole 80s thing, you know? Send me a pre-sample picture when you can. You can decide from that. Yeah, everybody likes these. I think this is really, really good. Thank you, Lucy. I'm glad you like that explanation of like the earth. Um, people are really into the, um, the 80s colors right now. And so I really, <laughs> this is totally 80s. This is like totally 80s right here. How, how, how retro is this, you guys? Hold on. Let me do a little retro thing here for you. Does this not look like some wallpaper that you saw back in the 80s or what? Like the art stripes with a little bit of gold in there? How's that? <laughs> that is so retro. Uh, don't you know it? Um, okay, good. I'm glad you like that, Brady. That was my favorite. Definitely my favorite. Rustic Red and the Gulf. Just the two of them together by themselves is good, but throw that terracotta in there and a little bit, a touch of the deep gravel road. I think you've got your winner. You could change this out for coffee bean as well. I do believe you could change this out for coffee bean and it would look good. I just don't know why I don't have that spoon. But anyway, I hope that's helpful, Brittany. Yeah, your Tupperware set, exactly. Oh, hey, Brandy, what did she say? 80s kids, 80s kids are old enough to buy from our own furniture now. Take that, take that, world. We were just talking about 80s kids, girl. We were just talking about that I was out here painting, priming today, jamming out to Cindy Lauper and Prince and had some Queen going. <laughs> 80s music is the best, right? The golf does pop everything. The golf, I get asked all the time what my favorite colors are. The golf is, uh, the golf, so it's caviar, caviar, fluff, uh, flamingo, the golf. Oh, peony, 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 uh, peony. Those are my favorite. This one, this one, this one. These three in black and white, those are my favorites. Those are my faves. Here's a black. It's Midnight Sky, actually. And is this fluff? Nope, that would be drop cloth. Well, this isn't fluff, it's cotton, but those are my favorites. But you know, that's the whole whimsy thing, right? Uh, okay, all right, guys, well, that's it. I gotta run, oh my gosh, at 7.45. I'm not sure if they have someone coming on tonight after me or not, I think they do. So, um, yes. Please, someone order fluorescent. Someone, y'all please tell them that we want a fluorescent color. Please. <laughs> Can it be a pink? Give me a pink. I need a, I need a super bright raspberry. That's what I want. A super, super bright raspberry. Okay, guys, or a magenta, like a super bold magenta would be awesome. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. I am thankful for every single one of you. I am thankful for Dixie Bell. I'm thankful for this online community that we have. And um, I'm thankful that I get to paint pieces like that for a living. So thankful. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving, a good weekend, and I will see y'all next week. Okay? Y'all take care. Bye-bye.